Yo, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Woo! I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling good. I'm not going to lie to you. Man, it's... Okay. Just making sure the nigga address ain't showing this shit. Check me out, man. Listen. So y'all finna come with me to drop off uh, some packages at the post office. Cause as some of you may or may not know, I, d I do do e-commerce. Um, it's actually one of my main sources of income. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all about some shit. Hold on, let me put the, put that thing away. Listen, I live in Atlanta, bro. I'd rather get caught with it than without it. Yeah, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm feeling feeling this this energy today a little bit better. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I, I recorded a whole video yesterday, a whole like uh not strategy but breakdown video. Like y'all know how I've been putting the, the vlogs and trading together, but um I just when I was done, usually when I'm done like filming for y'all and shit, I'll be hyped, I'll be excited, I'll be wanting to put that shit out like immediately but i don't know it was just something about yesterday that just didn't feel good man you know you know i was i was discussing the whole prop firm shit that's going on and you know how i've been affected by it and you know i know a lot of y'all have been affected by it and um hold on, let me put my seatbelt on you know i'm notorious for letting that damn beep go off the whole right, but oh shit, green light. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But um, yeah, I was just discussing how you know how the whole shit affected me. But you know, nonetheless, it's a new day. Uh, as y'all know, yesterday was April first, uh, officially marking the first day of Q2, right? Quarter two of the year. Um. And we started it off with a bang, you know what I'm saying? I caught a trade that's currently still running for, uh, you know, my community. Um, a nice little 50 pip banger, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to stop saying um, like I, I hate saying that shit. Anyways, yeah. You guys know if you do want access to that to that community for free, all you gotta do is fucking just sign up under my Sway affiliate link, and that's that. And DM me on Instagram, and that's that. But anyways, man, I just want to say, uh, it's okay to not do the best, right? It's okay to have your your vision set high, and fucking uh not reach exactly where the fuck you was trying to go and that's the importance of setting your shit high you know what i'm saying you reach for the stars you might just land on a cloud man that, that's how i look at shit you know because um and i'm not even gonna lie yesterday I, I, when i filmed the video i, I was super transparent i was showing y'all exactly uh how much i made you know from from e-commerce to to my Affiliate to course and, and and all of that shit, but that's not even necessary. It, it, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going, cause it's like a, a subtle flex. It's not even a flex, but it's like I want to be relatable. You know what I mean? If if I make such and such amount, I'm not gonna sit here and, and show it off to y'all, cause I know it's a lot of people that's that's coming, you know, fr from nothing or or something like that. You know what I mean? And I've I've been there myself and I know what it's like to fucking be trying and trying and seeing motherfuckers showing tens of thousands of dollars and shit, you know? So I wanna make, I always wanna make sure I'm super relatable to y'all. And um, yeah, so I'm not gonna be as transparent with this video. I just feel like it's a lot better. But anyways, um, yeah, it's, it's just, you know, it's okay. You know, I was I was in the middle of a challenge, right? Um, I'm sure a lot of y'all know. I'm sure there's a million fucking YouTube videos out right now uh, about the funded trader and how they just shut down. It, it was a couple other prop firms that shut down as well. Uh, I was in the middle of taking a challenge. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not gonna lie, it was my first challenge ever that I decided to take. 
along with my community just to show them, you know, um, you know, I'm just like y'all. It's possible for y'all. If I can do it, it's possible for y'all too. And um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I started it off on some bullshit, you know, just taking crazy, stupid fucking trades. Cause in my head, I'm still looking at it like a demo account. You know what I mean? Like with my real money, like I'm on point. I'm 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 strict with my rules, everything. But you know, so I I was in five percent drawdown. I'm not gonna lie. Um, as y'all know, you can only reach a 10% drawdown target and they snatch the account. But to shorten the story up, right, I ended up bringing the account back up 12%. So I was up a total of around 6.5%, right? And I risk anywhere, well, with the challenge, I was risking anywhere from 1.5% to 2% per trade. Right, so basically all I had to do was take one more trade and I passed the fucking challenge, you know, but um, You know, I just wake up one day and the, the, the whole shit is shut down and I'm like damn, bruh You know what I'm saying? I saw it coming You know what I'm saying? I saw it coming but Yeah, it's just like wow really bruh, but you know, and I was a little, I was fucked up for maybe like five seconds, like, damn, bro. You know, the, the, you know, I lost my little, little $500 or whatever I, I paid to took the challenge. But, you know, then I realized it's always somebody, it's always somebody going through a little, you know, s struggling a little harder than you, man. It could always be worse. So be grateful, be humble, man. Uh, I could only imagine, right? I could only imagine being funded, man, and, and, and depending on that shit to to fund my life and, and all this extra shit. Like, you know, I'm funded 100, 200K, and they just snatched that, that shit from you. You know what I'm saying? That's the tough shit, you know? But, yeah, man, I just want to say, like, you know, with this trading shit, it's been a lot going on, man. I'm not going to hold you. Uh, but just keep your head high. And I, and I do want to say, y'all know I'm not extra promoting and shit like that. But uh, Sway Markets did just release their own prop firm, pretty much. You know what I mean? And... Uh, I'm gonna be doing a, a 30 to 60 day challenge along with my community uh, Basically passing these challenges and what I like about it is It's it's a booked right? I'm not gonna get into all of that. It's not be booked like these other prop firms were uh, It's all in-house technology. They have their own tech all of that shit. So um, You don't have to worry about shit that just like what just happened basically with uh all these other prop firms hold on y'all let me back into this uh parking spot real quick all right so i just made it to the post office but like i was saying uh you don't have to worry about all this you know bullshit that happened with the the prop firms i could go into it to what happened but like i said i'm sure there's a million fucking videos out um i'm not gonna be the one to go deep into all of that shit quite frankly i don't i I care, but I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, you shouldn't always depend on other people for your, your fucking money. Simple as that. Other than that, I'm about to drop these boxes off right now. And then, uh, yeah, I guess we could go ahead and hop on the charts, right? So, uh, and I'll break down this trade we took last night. Uh, let me, let me see real quick. So I don't know if y'all can see, but, uh. I'm gonna break down this trade. We're currently just floating 33 pips in profit right now. Uh, we did hit TP2 of 50 pips, but uh, like I said, I'm gonna break that down and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all on the charts, man. Peace. <clears throat> All right, so 
As y'all can see, that's the easy shit. The easy part is just dropping that shit off at the post office. But the hard shit is packing that shit up and, and bro, what are you doing, bro? I don't realize I'm behind his ass. But, um, yeah, the hard part is packing and, and shipping and all that extra shit, bro. Like, well, not shipping, but, like, packing. and It's a whole process that goes into it, which is why I have had people inquire about me dropping e-commerce content or, or gems, whatever, of course. But, you know, like I was saying to y'all before, like... <clears throat> E-commerce is so, like, people-dependent, bro. Like, not to say, like, you know, you shouldn't, like, the world wouldn't be the world if it wasn't people-dependent, but I'm just saying, as someone who's, like, been doing this shit for years, you're, you're better off getting good at trading. <laughs> like, trading is so, like, it, it's on you, bro. Like, if you if 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 you're gonna be profitable and good at trading and all this shit, it's all dependent upon you. Um, some like e-commerce, and then there's like risk management, all that shit. E-commerce is literally just like, bro, one week I could be make two grand, five grand. You know, you just you never know. So, um, yeah, that's it. That shit didn't take nothing. I'm about to. <clears throat> Fuck, I'm about to get ready for the rest of my day. You know, wifey at the crib done made, made me breakfast and shit, even though it's 2 o'clock. But, uh, yeah. With that being said, y'all, man, I'll talk to y'all later. Or actually, I'll see y'all on the charts. And we'll go, and go ahead and break down, you know, some of this money we made last night. But, uh, yeah, peace. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this trade. Uh, this trade is more so of a a, a veteran-style trade, right? And what I mean by that is I believe, a, like, 90% of people would have got faked out on this trade um, simply because of, you know, just... I, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, yeah, y'all y'all will see as I explain it, so... Basically, this is our current trade. This is what I called out last night, right? So um, around 9 p.m. during Asian session, this is when I called this trade. Uh, we're currently floating around 40 pips. As you see, uh, I'm anticipating trade to hit TP3. If it comes back to break even, then trade is over with, right? So basically, I'm going to start on, let's see. Let me start on a four hour. Okay, so this is what I mean by a lot of people would have been faked out, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete these TP um, little areas right here for the sake of the video. All right, so basically, as you can see, GJ is on an uptrend, right? A major uptrend. Uh, we have this trend line that's holding super strong, right? Uh, we also have this support area right here from this major drop right here, right? And if I draw a fib from here to here, right, it looks as if, uh, you know, price broke below, way below this uh, golden zone, uh, drop below the 764 area, which would be uh, grounds for like basically having a stop loss, especially if you were swinging this trade on a higher time frame. Time frame again, this is the four hour time frame. Um, but if I go down to the lower time frame, right, as you can see, I'm on the hour time frame now. So, uh, price basically broke through this area right here, right? So uh, we have a major support. We have this trend line. Uh, price is bearish and golfing candles all the way down here, right? So naturally, naturally, I feel like the beginner and a lot of people would have been like, okay, uh, you know, we can uh, break, retest, and continue down, right? 
which is not wrong by any means. This 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 setup could easily could have easily gone the other way. But uh if you go to you have to learn to zoom out, right? So and I apologize if I'm like quiet or whatever. The baby just went to sleep. <laughs> but uh you have to learn to zoom out, right? So I'm gonna delete that for now. Right. Um, if I go to the daily time frame, right, let's go to the daily. On the daily time frame, we're creating perfect structure to the upside, right? So, boom, y'all pretty much get the gist. We're just creating higher, higher highs and higher lows, right? I'm going to delete that. So, basically, even though we broke out of that trend line, right? We broke below that little support. That does not mean we're in a downtrend overall, right? We're still in a buyer's market. So that's what I mean by this is a veteran trade. A lot of people would simply see break of this trend line and, you know, I just want to sell. And I mean, some you're not wrong, right? You could have got in and made money on the sell. You can always make money. That's that's the thing. You can always make money. There's no real right or wrong. But um, the reason I'm able to secure 50 pips is because I see things a little differently, right? Um, so on this daily time frame, if, like I said, structure is perfect. So you want to uh, draw a fib from your last low. This is your last higher low right here, right? And this will give you a gist of where you would like to be entering the market or where buyers are entering the market. So if I draw this fib right here, again, we're on a daily time frame. Um, as you can see, price is literally just in this golden zone, right? The 0.5 and 0.618, which is where you know, I would like to buy. So let me reset real quick. Um, keep that in mind. So basically, after price did all of this, right, it dropped what? Almost 100 pips, right? Like I said, and uh, the I don't want to call nobody amateurs or nothing like that. But um, maybe a newer trader would have been like, OK, it, it's time to sell right um however that's not the case so i saw um more specifically on the hour time frame i saw we came and had a major rejection um of this 618 area right oh shit the baby just woke up then i also uh well yeah so on the hour i saw that major rejection um so what i was waiting for was this right here a break and retest of 190.25, right? And that's exactly where we entered. Um, and we actually entered a little bit lower because this candle dropped a bit lower. So we entered at 190.20. But um, yeah, once I saw the rejection of this 618, all I could think about is like, this is all buying territory right here. And mind you, this is the daily time frame. So uh, daily levels are always going to hold stronger, right? Also, um, on a lower time frame, I also saw this. So this is how technical it gets, right? So yeah, we're on the down on a downtrend, right? Quote unquote, on a lower time frame. Uh, but check this out, right? Once we made this pullback, draw a trend line down right? Boom. What do you see? Price breaks out of that little trend line. And then this this is what I call using fibs within fibs. So from this low all the way to this high right here, again, we took entries right here. What do you see? What do you see? We now have a golden zone on the 15 minute area too, as well, right? So we're respecting that golden zone. We actually rejected, right? We respected this QP of 190.25 and the rest is history, right? We we saw no drawdown. So um, 
yeah, and it's as simple as that. I called the trade out nine o'clock. Uh, a lot of people were able to get in. A lot of people saw this retest right here of this quarter point and was able to get in. Um, and yeah, just like that. So uh, again, it, that was a more experienced trade. But you know, all of my students are are, are learning and and really starting to understand this shit. It's so simple. Right, it's it's literally just breaking retest and and fibs and and market structure. It's it's so simple. Um, so I mean, if if you're if you're wanting to catch moves like that again, these are twenty five to fifty pip moves. This is not TP one at ten pips, TP two twenty pips. Like these are major moves, right? If you would like to uh, join, just go ahead and sign up in the. Uh, and the link below, right? It's that simple. And DM me on Instagram. But uh, other than that, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed. Hopefully, uh, you could take away something from this video. Uh, again, this was a more experienced type of trade here. Uh, some would say it's against the trend. I say it's flowing with the trend, right? So anyways, that's it, man. Hope y'all enjoyed. Um, make sure y'all stay on my ass, man. It's Q2. I'm trying to, I'm trying to really run this shit up on the YouTube side of things. Uh, I get sidetracked so, 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 so easily, man. Um, so yeah, make sure y'all stay on my ass when I'm not uploading, right? <laughs> Shoot me a DM comment on a video or something like, yo, we need, we need that shit, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I'm not going to hold y'all any longer. I'm out. Peace.